Repacking is the final component of the broadcast spectrum incentive auction and could impact any station anywhere in the country. It is mandatory and is as critically important for stations that don't participate in the reverse auction as it is for those that do. Repacking is the process of condensing all remaining broadcasters into a smaller and more tightly packed spectrum band and will be achieved by assigning stations to specific channels designated by the FCC. The goal of repacking is to free up a contiguous portion of current broadcast spectrum for wireless carriers. Repacking will likely result in the need for many, if not most, television stations across the country to change channels. Because of this, stations will need to update or replace transmission equipment. In some cases, it may also require a station to reinforce or rebuild its tower, a significant undertaking. Let's say that this is a hypothetical market. The green blocks represent stations that are operating in the television band. You can see that they are scattered throughout the spectrum frequencies. With repacking, the stations are condensed down and packed closely together, opening up a large, contiguous block of spectrum at the top of the band. This is the spectrum that will be sold to wireless providers in the forward auction. Even if a station like Channel 44 doesn't participate in the auction, it could still be moved down, maybe to Channel 20, in the repacking. That mandatory reassignment needs to be planned for and managed by the station. It will likely cost an average of one to two million dollars for the equipment and labor involved in each channel reassignment. Nationwide, the FCC has allowed about three years for this entire process, but each station will be assigned an individualized deadline of a few months or years. The expenses for the reassignment should be reimbursed from a government fund, 90% upfront and 10% later, but stations need to submit detailed construction plans and cost estimates to the FCC to be eligible for reimbursement. Stations that receive revenue as part of the reverse auction are not eligible for any cost reimbursement. Costs will vary significantly depending on how much of a move the station has to make and other local factors. If a station moves from channel 38 down to 36, the process generally doesn't require a lot of steps or expense. However, if a station moves much further down to, say, channel 20, the work involved will generally be much greater and the expense will increase significantly. Stations won't know whether or where they will be reassigned in the repacking process until after the auction. Stations should begin preparing now in anticipation of the announcement because when the results of the auction are announced in the summer of 2016, stations will have a very short three-month window to submit a detailed construction permit application and cost estimate to move to their new channel assignment. That's not a lot of time given all the work that will need to be done. Stations should begin looking at their facilities now, particularly the tower and tower load, to gauge how much work it will take to move channels. Stations should also consider which vendors and engineering consultants they will work with to get the job done, as these people will be in great demand from all broadcasters, commercial and non-commercial, as soon as the auction ends and the repacking process begins.